I most definitely think that you married Michael for his money. Did you marry Gordon for his money? I might have. The mother who is suing me is still married to the woman sitting in there. I'm gonna turn into a villain. I didn't do nutty enough. Oh my God, y'all. I was not expecting this, but the Real Housewives of Atlanta, ooh. I mean, the Real Housewives of Potomac trailer is here, and um, y'all, they kind of ate Atlanta Housewives up. Oh! <laughs> it's Justin Diego back with another binge-worthy video. And today, let's talk about our first look at the Real Housewives of Potomac season eight trailer and how, from the looks of things, they've then gave our Potomac girls yet another budget increase. But first, let's watch this RHLP trailer together, and then we'll chat. This season on The Real Housewives of Potomac. The best trap show ever! Open up, Giselle. I'm wide open. I had a contact high with Ganji. <laughs> Your mole with the two pieces of hair coming uh -huh. out. Ah, I did that my daddy is a rich bitch, and he made sure his daughter was a rich bitch too. Ladies, this is my friend Neko. I was telling you about. Neko, hello, everyone. Hi. How are you? Thanks for buying me a two million dollar house. I most definitely think that you married Michael for his money. Did you marry Gordon for his money? I might have. I come to bed and you're sleeping. Yeah, because you come to bed at two o'clock in the morning. I actually had um, retained a divorce attorney. Mm. Why did I feel so guilty? <sighs> I feel like you're ready and prepared to go to college. Yeah. Oh, God, I need you to find some new tricks, okay? You are the trick. It is like ripping my heart out. Why was in the nail salon? Why was in the laundromat? Why was at the hotel? That's a fun moment. The mother who is suing me is still married to the woman sitting in there. People always got something to say. I don't care. Kiss my okay, ass. Okay, walk away so I can see it. You know, oh, oh, that is so amateur. I'm gonna turn into a villain. I didn't do shit. Not enough. So the cocaine's happening. When does that crack come into play for you? Wendy's mom started saying that she has a shrine. She's and doing that. voodoo on you? My mom worshiped our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. At day, by night, she's, she's submitting names to shrines. This is the demons coming to get us. I got the mother bazooka. Come at me the again. I really am speechless, y'all, because, I mean, our girls have really come along. They've come along. They've come a long way. And <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. But no, really, our girls have come a long way, and I feel like they continue to surprise us. I feel like, I mean, damn, like, it's giving Housewives of Atlanta status at this point. Oh, my God, bro. Fuck them. Buckle, baby! And that's exactly why they have quietly taken over our prize November slot that used to be held down by our Atlanta girls year after year. But this year, we're getting Potomac first, and then we're getting Phaedra on Mary to Medicine right after? Oh, baby. It's about to be Christmas every damn week. <laughs> That's right. The new season of The Real Housewives of Potomac premieres Sunday, November 5th at 8 p.m. on Bravo. And I feel like that's just a little bit too long to be having us sitting over here waiting for Black Knight. But there's not really much we can do about it, so it is what it is. <laughs> Champagne glass holders Giselle Bryant, Karen Huger, Ashley Darby, Robin Dixon, Candace Dillard Bassett, Dr. Wendy Osefo, and Mia Thornton are all returning again for the new season and they are looking absolutely stunning. And this year, we're going to be introduced to an all new champagne glass holder. Yep, yep, 
She's an attorney and an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. Nika Iham. And I'm pretty sure I'll know how to say her name by the end of the season, but I don't really know how to say that. I am is a proud first generation Nigerian American. And from the looks of things in the trailer, let's just say that it's obvious that she enjoys the finer things in life. Thanks for buying me a $2 million house. And look, I'm here for them adding another beautiful chocolate girl to our lineup because they have definitely been in the hot seat over the years about some alleged colorism going down and stuff like that. But um, come here, Nika. Girl, don't be coming over here getting the villain edit and looking silly because we don't want you to be this season's Courtney because girl, no. What is this I hear about you coming for Karen's brand dom title? Girl, if you don't sit your behind down and respect the queen and like, like you got some sense. Okay? Okay? Yeah. And hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up! I know y'all didn't think I was just gonna slide past this cast photo like it ain't given. Top tier, bad all black ancestors putting in overtime chocolate fabulousness and it makes sense that we got all eight new well not all eight new girls but eight girls this year because the photo shoot eight uh, no wait a minute Adele. don't don't do that okay <laughs> Y'all know for real though, I have to agree with this fan who tweeted that this cast photo is given what it's supposed to give. Comment right now and tell me if y'all think that this is the best cast photo out of all cast photos ever in the history of all housewife shows ever, or is it just me? Oh yeah, and Sharice is back as a friend, child. And, and we've won another battle. <laughs> Thank you, okay, now before I go, I have to talk about this juicy storyline that mysteriously got cut out of the trailer. Um, bravo, y'all ain't slick. Are y'all just gonna act like we ain't supposed to have already known about the fight? A couple of months ago, TMZ broke the news that an absolutely insane confrontation went down while filming season eight of The Real Housewives of Potomac. Now, in their exclusive footage, we could see the cast breaking up an altercation between friend of the show, Kiana Stewart, and another woman, Deborah Williams, while filming for Ashley Darby's fashion line launch. Okay, they were sisters. Now, according to the police report obtained by TMZ, Candace told police that someone threw a drink at her. And Kiana says that she was hit in the forehead with a glass before getting pulled down in the physical altercation. And in the video, you can clearly see how it all went down. Now, although the cops were called, apparently no arrests were made at the time that TMZ broke the story. I remember when all this went down back in July, I decided that I wasn't gonna talk about it on my channel until it came up on the show. And that's exactly why I am really surprised that Bravo decided not to tease this blow up in the super trailer for the new season of RHOP. What's going on? I know Deadline reported last week that Bravo was implementing new rules that limit drinking and holds cast members and production companies more accountable when altercations like these come up. But I wouldn't imagine that it would make sense to edit this altercation completely out of the show. Just think about that for a minute. So yeah, comment right now and let me know what you guys think about this year's RHOP trailer for season eight. Also, let me know what you guys are looking forward to the most and what you think about this cast. And y'all already know that you need to let me know if you feel like Bravo is trying to clean up their image by leaving the brawl out of the trailer or if you think that they are just trying to save that footage for the mid-season trailer that will roll out later on in the season. Thanks so much for watching this video all the way to the end. Y'all, I cannot wait to see what our Potomac girls are giving when they finally hit our TV screens this November. And y'all already know I will be right here spilling the tea. Thanks again for watching. I will see y'all brown skin girls. Best thing in the world. <laughs> On the next one. <laughs> Where did that come from? I don't know. <laughs> Moving fast, I'm gonna go. Yeah, but you're bringing me back. Try to double cross me, dog. Just let me relax. Stop assuming what we doing.